Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to Witcher 3. I just want to say really quick thank you to CG Project Red and Evolve, and Evolve PR for getting me a copy of this game in advance. Obviously, I am playing this before the game came out. Uh, horses. Witchers spend most of their time on the road in search of the next contract. They must trek across wide valleys, climb over high mountain peaks, and trudge through thick bogs. Luckily, Geralt has, can, can always count on his horse, Roach, to help him in his travels. To have Roach come to you, double press left stick. That sounds kind of awkward, but I guess it's not exactly a mid-combat command, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? I couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders, as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. Hopefully being out in the open world will give me a chance to really learn how combat works in this game. Not just knowing what buttons do, but I mean like really knowing like the way you learn in Dark Souls by having experience with the actual like muscle memory and everything. Oop. What? What? Well, I'm not sure why I stopped. That was weird. <laughs> Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Nilf Guardians requisitioned my goods. Now this? Here. Back to the trail. Like I said, Leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? What's it to you? Well, you see, there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure. Could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Being a hero's nice and all, but if you aren't getting any sort of reward for your work, then you're gonna be a very short-lived hero. Especially when your partner already has a nice big wound on his shoulder that you probably could use a little money for. And I earned it. I think that's about fair. Not that I was about to beat him out of it or anything, if that was even an option. I chose not to reveal the the fact that uh we're looking for a woman in case that word gets out. A griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. 
In a forest to the mountain shore, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Populated areas. You're nearing a village. Don't disturb the peace. Remember, town guards and hired watchmen won't tolerate theft, and also won't look, kind, look kindly on you accosting others. Local residents often erect notice boards near settlements such as villages and cities. These are marked as that on the map. Examine them to learn about contracts, work for witchers, and local ha local happenings. Let's take a look at let's take a look around for that because we could always use some side quests to make a little progress for our characters themselves. So what do we have around here? But yeah, the last thing I need is uh, that guy knowing who I'm looking for, and then uh, Take it easy. betraying me for some money of, of his own. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. <laughs> Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Claude Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. But does no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be of service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. They have vodka in this universe? Dialogue, shops. Options marked with a coin purse will open the shop panel. Which is this, uh, show me what you got. Pretty, that was pretty straightforward. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. All right, well, the other guy seemed like he could be desperate, and that makes him risky, but this woman's established, so she's probably not going to just openly betray me on a moment's notice, especially since she's not loyal to the locals in the first place. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah. Especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Dialogue's mark dialogue marked with the uh, the X mark and the conversation. Okay. Thanks for everything.
Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. You hear? Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel! Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Passing out their patrimony. Give it to their own. I should actually double check with her about uh, resources. Something else you'll be needing. I probably shouldn't have walked, uh, have left so quickly. Got anything interesting under the counter? Depends what you're after. Have a look. I'll show you something interesting under the counter. Uh, buy and sell items using the shop menu. Press X to make the purchase. Press circle to close the shop menu. So the shopkeeper. See the, what. It says other on one side, but shopkeeper on the other side. Let's see here. Torch, Yennefer's letter. Okay, so these are not the things I can... This is the selling menu. Good to know. Let's head over to the shop menu side. We can buy Gwent cards, which I believe is a, a mini game built into this game. Might be handy to look into at some point, but I don't think I want to invest money into it right away. Uh, alchemy, alchemy herbs... Of various kinds. We haven't really been introduced to that yet, so I'm probably not going to jump straight into that. Let's see. Five second healing duration. 30 second healing duration. So cow's milk is probably more valuable than, uh... Yeah, I'm going to say cow's milk is more valuable than apple based on that much longer regeneration duration. 10 seconds for baked apple. This is a whole lot of food around here, isn't there? All right, I should probably lock up, uh, stock up on some of these. So if I buy three, it'll cost me 39. Might as well. That's That'll be a nice start at least. 25 seconds of regeneration. How much does this vodka cost? I'll just take it. It's fine. It's fine. All right, let's get out of here. Elf guardian rule to your liking? What's there to like? It is the same as any other. They tax us, requisition this or that. But they do keep the peace in the village, I'll grant them that. You don't mourn Tamaria's passing? I mourned it round half a year back, when King Foltes was cut down. Now, now I just want peace. Farewell. Wow. Ow! You had that, uh, did I just bump into her? Did it bump her? Did she, does she, she made noise? Whoops. Uh, I'm surprised she still had that note up after all this time then, if, if it's been that, that long. Yes? What is it, Wolf? I got your vodka. Oh. I can't say that. Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. See you later, Vesemir. May the soil lie light upon him. I believe that's basically wishing that someone's going to get their body dug up and eaten by animals. Not a big hit, not a happy pass there. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Dialogue, Axie. Options marked with a triangle will make you use the Axie sign. This sign influences people's minds, causing them to act according to your will. To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during a conversation, invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. Oh, that could be fun. I think I, that might be one of my favorite stat points to look into then. Let's give it a shot, maybe? Or right, let's try just talking normally first. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. All right. You've earned this. Raven haired woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? I don't know. 
Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Calm down, we're just having a chat. Could've just given me the answer. He's fine. He's fine. Just chill. Dude. Alright, ask Travers about Yenna first. So we, we we heard that she passed through town. She went down the crossroads. Now we just need to figure out where she went from there. Counter. Okay, that guy has a name. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out the middleman and just start talking to this guy and see what comes up. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Well, there goes any sort of uh, confusion there. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. If I'm lucky, he's just genuine and actually just being helpful. If I'm unlucky, he's going to report me in some fashion and I'm going to pay for talking to him. We'll see which. What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. 
Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Uh -huh. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. They're so simple that one guy could not even begin to comprehend them. This guy's kind of a bummer. I'm like, oh yes, right above the war, you can explain the human suffering involved in all of this conflict. And he's like, no, I just care about the history of the f armies hitting each other in the face and taking cities. It's like It's like the Dynasty Warriors top-down map approach as opposed to... The actual war stories, there's no all quiet on the western front going on with this guy. So the this command the card command get, leads to a game of Gwent. It's pretty straightforward. Mm, why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. Let's we're we're in episode two of a game. It's time to learn a new game instead of this game and play that game instead. Welcome to Gwent. Gwent is an ancient dwarven, dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals and the cards are their forces. You'll go first. Starting hand. To begin, you draw ten cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so use them wisely. Unit card strength. This is the unit... This is a unit card. The number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. This is the unit's combat row icon. This icon indicates the row on the battlefield where the card can be played. The sword is for close combat, the bow is for ranged combat, and the catapult is for siege combat. Some unit cards have special abilities. This Kedawini Cat Cadwenny, we'll learn that over time. Siege Expert's special ability is called Morale Boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row. Weather cards are a type of special card. They reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. So sword so melee melee uh, soldiers are weak against snow. Uh, ranged characters are weak against uh, wind, and siege weapons are weak against water. I mean, air, uh, rain, obviously. Redraw. At the start of each game, you can select up to two cards to discard and redraw, but let's skip that for now and go straight to playing. Round start. Here is the battlefield. This is your side. This is your opponent's side. During each turn, a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing square. Press X to select a card from your hand and again to place on the battlefield. Your turn, Witcher. So what is my special ability exactly? Full test, King of Temuria. It is natural and beautiful that a man should love his sister. That's okay. You d okay. Uh, leader ability. Pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. I don't know what that card does. We'll just have to figure that out over time. I, I assume it's a defensive card to make it so people can't reach us. Okay. What do we have in our hand? Biting frost. Reduce the, uh, that'll weaken melee enemies. We have torrential rain to weaken ranged, en ranged people. I think it was, it was enemies and allies, right? We have a Redanian foot soldier. I've bled for Redania. I've killed for Redania. Damn it, I've even raped for Redania. That's concerning. All right. So he has the mor morale boost effect, which makes him... Uh, am I able to highlight parts of the card? Not not really. Uh, but they, they, I think they said that that uh, boosts people on the same row. 
Oh wait, no, that's just the that's just the row it's allowed to be played on. It has power of one and it's melee. Kedwani, siege expert. You gotta calibrate the arm by five degrees. Do what by the what now? So it's got one strength. Uh, oh, that there's the, I think that's the morale boost right there, and it's a siege weapon. Sab uh, Sabrina Glevsig. Four power, making it one of the more powerful cards. Oh, never, never mind. Actually, everything to its right is more powerful. The daughter of the Kedwani Wilderness. Ranged character. Uh, Sheldon Skaggs. I was there, on the front lines, right where the fighting was the thickest. For range. That's not... Is there front... Is, is there front lines if you're behind the front lines of the bow? Silly. He's using a hammer in the picture, but not in the uh, other part. Siegfried of Denzel's. We're on the same side, which are you realize this one day. Kiara Metz, if I'm to die today, I wish to look smashing for the occasion. So those are both five strength characters, one melee, one ranged. I have, I'm noticing I'm very powerful on the... I have a very heavy emphasis on ranged characters in my hand right now. So I'm not going to want to play wind, but I also don't have a wind card, so it's not really an issue for me. But if they have one, I'm in trouble. Death Mold. I once made a prisoner vomit his own entrails. Ah, good times. Ballista, six power. Usually we give them female names, like Jenny, more like Bertha. Let's go ahead and play that, just to get this on the row, on the run. I'm not going to pretend to have a strategy since I haven't played before, but uh, the closest thing to a strategy is I'm thinking if he, if I, if I want to mislead him about who has the most power here, maybe I'll avoid. Maybe I'll avoid playing ranged characters for a little while, the, the people with the bows, and maybe he won't put, uh, debuff uh, archers, and then I can play them all later, maybe. Uh, total strength. The number on the left by your icon shows the total strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of a round, the player with the highest total strength wins. Okay, so I win the first round. Probably, anyway. During your turn, you can you can pass by holding down triangle. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards. During that round, your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win with the units you already have in play, or to let your opponent win and save you the cards for the next round. End of round. A round ends once both players have passed. The players then can compare the total strength of their units to determine the winner. All the cards in the battlefield are discarded, and both players' total strength is re reset to zero. Oh, there's an important detail. So it's multiple consecutive rounds. So you, ha you have a reason to try to conserve cards. Opponent's turn. My t uh, now it's my turn. He also played a siege weapon. Let's take a look at that. Uh, I can't look at it. Oh, R2 to zoom. There we go. The Zerican Desert used to be a lush garden. Then these came along. Okay. Fire, the Zerikanian Fire Scorpion. Five power, ranged. I mean, I probably don't want to stop now, right? So I should probably play something else. Let's play one of my, my uh, archer characters. Separate row to diversify my team so we can't debuff them all at once. Cynthia. Take a look at that. Cynthia, power four, ranger. Cynthia's talents can be deadly. She needs a tight, a tight leash. So he's basically tying with me, but staying one below me. So the question here now, do I just keep playing closer d characters to continue to divert, to make my team diverse? I don't necessarily know how, how long to expect the round to be. Unless those crystals are how many wins we needed to have. Oh, now he's two behind me. That's better, but he might just keep playing cards forever. Rainfarn, you'll die as painfully as the pathetic traitor Will, uh, Windhelm did. Well, I could play my my uh, I could, if I if I play this character, he'll make my existing siege weapon more powerful. Plus one units to yeah, plus one to units in the row. Pace myself a little bit. Is he gonna pass? No, he's not. Okay. He played the Rotten Manganel. The rotten smell brings back childhood memories. Alright, I'm still ahead of him by one, which isn't a lot. Let's see here. 
So this sets the strength of all close combat. Oh, wow, it sets it to one specifically. So I, I, it, playing one of these cards sabotages an entire row. So there's a specific card where I'm... If there's a specific row where I'm losing, I'd want to play one of those. But right now, I'm not losing on any of my rows. Yeah, I'm not losing on any of the rows. So I, really, I'm more at risk of him doing that to me. Let's throw another melee character in since I'm still in the lead. And just see how this plays out. Uh, was it say Putcomer? Now he's taking the lead, but that's because I played a weaker card. Oh yeah, Putcomer. Uh, learned a lot at the Briabunt Military Academy. How to scrub potatoes, for instance. They mock him, but he's actually more powerful than some of the cards I've had access to. Let's see. Probably want to keep mixing things up a bit. Just to avoid putting too many guys on one row for when he probably debilitates me in some way. So we'll play a four in the middle, just to take the just to take the lead back. Vream D. Discipline is the Empire's deadliest weapon. A two power melee. Uh, is he winning in a in a row yet? Let's see. He's currently winning in melee. He has six, and I have no. We both have six. So I don't I don't immediately have a reason to play anything there. Yeah, he's he's maintaining the lead in most areas, isn't he? Oh, he, oh. Nope, eight in the back too. We still are tied in every part. Of, we're tied, or I'm or I'm winning in every part of the map. So he's disincentivizing me using any of my cards I have available to me. Well, I don't have a wind card, so if if I'm gonna debuff, it's not gonna be I'm not gonna be planning on hurting my ranged characters. So let's throw another ranged character in. The Empire will teach the North discipline. What was the name of the card? Nausicaa Cavalry Rider, plus two. I still have the lead. I can now debuff the front row to reduce his power from eight to three and mine from six to two. So he would lose five points while I lost four points, but it's not a, it's just not worth it right now. Unfortunately, if I press a, if I pass and I pass on the whole round, which is problematic for a number of reasons. So I'm a little afraid to stop playing cards. <laughs> if he's doing it, then at least we're in the same level. Swears. And hands off, and hands off the girl. Whatever we may be, we're not savages. Oh, well, at least there's that. It's some sort of war type character that isn't uh, raping and pillaging to some extent. Let's see. At this point, I guess I'll just debuff melee, melee just to keep maintain the lead. And then everyone got weaker, and I'm winning by nine. Your opponent has passed. All right. So I guess I'll pass then, because I win. The player who loses a round also loses a life gem. The game is over once the player has lost both life gems. So now we have to try to play another round. Round start. Northern Realm's faction ability triggered. What's my faction ability? Siege Expert. You gotta recalibrate the arm by five degrees. So I redrew a card, apparently? I should probably use my leader card to play an impenetrable fog card. But what is the fog? Is the fog anti-archer? Is that how that works? Well, I'll, I'll play my one my one card. I might be in some trouble here. So we don't redraw at all. There's a ranged character. A fireball, of course. Whatever you your Imperial Majesty wishes. So he should be just about out of cards now. If impenetrable fog is I, I, th I thought something was the wind card. If that was actually impenetrable fog, then maybe that will help me. Let's try using my uh, my leader card. Pick an impenetrable card from your deck and play it instantly. It is the, okay. That is the ranged tier. So now he's down to one. Oh, and I'm screwed. Now he's got one more power than me. Not a lot I can do about this. My only remaining card is just going to make me weaker. Well, actually, it can't make me weaker, but, uh... 
Yep, I lose this round, and I don't even know how this plays out now. This is just the end of a... Uh, I don't have another uh, card to play unless I draw one automatically. Your opponent has won the round. Alright, it's one to one. Is Did he have any cards left, or did he lose now? It says he's passed. I think he's already out of cards. Well, I play Torrential Rain. Ta-da! Nilfgaard faction ability trigger. Nilfgaard wins the tie? Ah. So that's his ability as he wins ties. There's no shame in passing and letting your opponent win the round. Sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. Yeah, that's a that's very clear due to the fact that I ran out of cards completely. Each deck also features its own heroes. Heroes are high value cards immune to the effects of special cards. These powerful cards can turn the tide of battle. Acquire more powerful cards cards by completing certain quests and purchasing them from vendors. So that's what I can buy from the store if I want to, is I can buy those... I can buy cards from the store that'll make my deck more powerful, potentially. And I assume I can even stack the deck. It's not a game for everyone. Requires an analytical mind. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepa. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Well, now I just want to look through my Gwent hand. Let's see, is that its own? So the, the touchpad opens up this, the menu. We have a glossary, which we can learn things from, I'm sure. Alchemy, inventory, map, quests. So right now the quest is lilac and gooseberries. Uh, that's just our main quest and we have nothing else. Character tree. So this is where I can... Yep, we have slots. Place an ability here to activate. Ooh, I can specifically pick something to activate, or does it cost... it costs points? Yeah, it costs... I have. I need points to get these things, apparently. Okay, so there are, there's various buffs to get there, but we won't be using those for a little while. And here you can meditate over time. It's like the wait feature in Skyrim and various uh, Bethesda games. Let's take a look at our inventory, because this guy's gotten me obsessed with this card game now, so we might as well investigate. Here are currently equipped items. Here are other items currently in your possession. Use tabs to show items of a certain type. Here you'll find information about your most important character statistics. To equip an item, press X. That's the world map. Okay, that's the... the so the bumpers take me between the major menus, not the ones I'm currently in. You can... You can now use this potion during gameplay. Press up to activate the potion in the first slot, and down to activate it in the second slot. Quest items, other. How do I look at my Gwent deck, is what I'm wondering. Because I want to defeat this guy if I can. I might actually look into buying something from, th from this lady over here. Something else you'll be needing. Got anything interesting under the counter? Depends what you're after. Have a look. This might be the dumbest thing I've ever done, but let's look into it. Oop. So what does she have? She has... Oops, that's my stats, not the card. Uh, Gwent card decoy. Swap with the card on the battlefield to return it to your hand. Oh, that's fantastic. So this card lets, it, lets you retrieve a card you've played as like a take back, which could be really handy. You could play a really powerful card as a fake out, and then then bring it back in your hand and use it next turn. Catapult. Uh, wow. Eight strength. Tight bond. Place a place next to a card with the same name to double the strength of both cards. So if you play more than one of these uh, catapults, then they actually get along and benefit from each other. Northern Realms card. Uh, oh, Blue Stripes Commando also has the effect... Uh, play it with the same name to get double the uh, strength. Uh, double the strength of both cards. That's that's a big deal. It could be a big deal to get like some siege combat for that purpose. Uh, Crinfrid Reavers Dragon Hunter, five power also has tight bond. Everyone has a everyone here has tight bond. Okay. Well, I noticed that I was probably I want to buy decoy. That seems like a, should I just buy all these and just be a total nerd about this? Foltest. Uh, Northern Realm's leader. 
Lord Commander of the North, clear any weather effects resulting from biting frost, torrential rain, or impenetrable fog cards in play. Wow. You know what? I'm just should I just go full obsession here? It'll cost me 140. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right. I need to <laughs> let's see if I have something to sell to make up for my disgusting habit. Uh, I'm gonna need that crystal skull. Alchemy supplies. Cow's milk. That's healing stuff for later. I'm gonna have to do, go do side quests to fund my crippling card game habit. It's what's gonna happen here. This is all gonna be one episode, by the way. I'm just gonna not cut it so that people can just skip this episode if they don't want to deal with card games anymore. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. All right, asshole. I'm back, and I spent bank. Turns out this is a pay-to-win game. <laughs> ah, you return. Shall I deal? Let's play this game of yours. Welcome to the Gwent Deck Builder. Gwent players use their own customized decks. Use this panel to manage your decks. You can build one deck for each of the four factions, Nilfgaard, Northern Realms, Monsters, and Skoliatail. <laughs> okay. Bumper switch factions. Each faction features a number of unique cards that encourage a different style of play. Each faction also has a special ability. Nilfgaard wins draws. That was good. That would have been good to know before I lost to to a draw. Uh, Northern Realms grants an extra card for every victorious round. Also handy. Uh, although you can only win once, so basically you get, you get one extra card if you're not if you don't get completely shut out. Uh, Skoyatail decides who takes the first turn. Oh. And Monsters keeps a random unit card on the battlefield after each round. That's also interesting. A, m a Monsters deck having the ability to just have like... Oh man. Uh, each deck has one leader. Press square to see the leaders available for the currently viewed faction. Oh. So th there, the leader card can also be swapped. So this... Uh, press X to choose the highlighter leader card. Each leader has a unique ability. Use it to turn the tide of battle in your favor. Leader cards that do not... Uh, that you, you do not own are locked. They will be available to you once you acquire them. All the cards you own, which can be used for this faction, are shown here. Cards currently equipped in the faction's deck are, are, sh are shown here. A deck must consist of at least 22 unit cards. It can also can contain up to, 20, up to 10 special cards. This can include more than 22 unit cards. You can include more than 22 unit cards in your deck, but remember that doing so decreases your chance of drawing your most powerful cards. Your deck is currently two unit cards short, as indicated by the red number. You must move two unit cards from your collection on the left side to the faction's current deck on the right side. Okay. Let's take a look over here. So, Kyotel, I don't really have any cards for them, do I? I have a total... Oh yeah, these are all just my generic cards that everyone has. Ooh, clear weather. Uh, removes all weather cards from effect. From from effect. That's that could be handy if you want to stop your opponent from debuffing you. Monsters. I need. I kind of want to get some monster cards because the idea of having a random monster still on the on the on the board could be really handy. But right now, I'm really only equipped to use the Northern Realms. So instead, we're, we're going to want to look into who we want to bring into into play. So let's look into the people who I just brought in. Decoy. And that catapult's pretty damn powerful, so I'd like to bring him in. Along with the Reavers. Exiting the deck builder. You can now press circle to leave. When in the deck builder before a match, press triangle to begin playing or circle to quit and forfeit the match. My question is what some of these cards are even worth, because they're all... Some of these cards are only worth one or two, and they don't have a special effect on them, so I'm not sure why you'd bring them in the first place. Unless you're trying to... Unless there's some kind of bait, maybe? Or maybe there's some sort of synergy where you could have special effects on certain things. But like this guy, for example, he's a melee, and he has one power and no effects, which makes me think, let's just not bring him then and bring this guy that has four. Especially since that means that I now have... Yeah, I now have multiple Blue Stripes Commandos, and they get a synergy bonus. Of, they get a bonus from just being in play together, which just seems like all-around good sense to me. <laughs> the poor fucking infantry. I, as a war vet... I, as a war veteran, spare me a crown? That poor guy. 
Why does he exist? <laughs> okay. Do I even want to have him in my deck? Is there a reason to? Like, I could just kick him out and be like, oh. But I'm, I'm too below now. I guess I might as well bring them along. So I don't think I really have... Oops. Accidentally switched, switched teals here. Wait, let's look at my other t my other tier of stuff. Oh yeah, I have nothing not in play right now. All, all my cards that aren't in play are all melee characters. Okay. Let's just go ahead and start the game. So I can lose this one too. But at least now I'll know what I'll know why I lost. <laughs> Alright. Let's choose a card to redraw, zero to two. So I can pick any I can pick two of these to get rid of altogether if I think my hand balance is too bad. So I can use fog to get rid of ranged attackers. Frost to get rid of melee. Decoy can get a card back in my hand. The poor fucking infantry. I'm probably not gonna bring him along. Especially, especially since this guy helps everybody around, while well, this guy only helps himself. So let's go ahead and pick him to get rid of. Ooh! It's Prince Stennis, not to be confused with Prince Stannis. He plow and wears gold armor. Golden. Course he's an asshole. Uh, we have a four ranged, four melee. These seem like a decent group of people to have. Medic. Choose one card from your discard pile and play it instantly. No heroes or special cards. Oh wow, so this card can play a previous car a card into play. That's pretty badass. Meanwhile, this person's just ranged with no special effect, and so is this person. This one gives plus one to all siege weapons, but I have no siege weapons? No, I have two siege- Oh, the, the medic is a siege weapon too. So that could actually be handy. But not as handy as just having a stronger card, so I think I'm gonna go for replacing them. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. And I'm pretty sure I drew the same card twice, if I if I understand what I'm looking at. So here's a so here's an interesting play. Then like, one thing I could do is I could I could try to intentionally be weaker than him for a while if I wanted to, and that would make it possible to uh, basically bait him out to keep playing cards. It's not a terrible idea. Let's go ahead and play my weakest card first and see how that goes. Opponent's turn. A fireball, of course. Let's take a look at their card real quick. Oh yeah, I forgot to check what my other card was. I didn't I didn't I didn't customize my leader. We'll do that later. I'm not gonna keep playing this all day. Uh this this mode I mean. Emir Var Emrys, his Imperial Majesty. The skies wept when my Pavetta died. They will not weep for me. Leader ability. Pick a torrential rain card from your deck and play it instantly. So he can get rid of... He has an anti-siege ability and I, and I have an anti-ranged ability. I see how this could backfire for me. Go ahead and throw out a ranged character. I'm gonna start off with some of my weaker characters and see if th how that works out for me. Sweers. I'm gonna try to bait him out to play a bunch of powerful cards and then I'm probably going to just let him win for the first round. That's probably a way to go. I'm currently losing by one, which I'm more or less okay with. Let's see here. I want to save the medic for next round for sure. What I could do is play a strong card and then use the uh, decoy to get them back later, but it'd bait him to keep playing stronger cards too, which I think I'll do. All right, come at me, bro. You gonna pass? Nope, not gonna pass. He's gonna keep trying to play cards. Okay, he's four cards deep now. Huh. I might just let him have it at this point. Let's try using the decoy to get my catapult back. There we go. He's probably going to pass now, right? Yep, he sees what I'm doing. Now I'm going to pass as well. Unless there's a way to make this... Wait, wait, can I win this too? Let's see, his, ba his middle row has... Eight. I can take them down to three. Reduce their power by half. If I reduce their power by half with a fog, I would tie with them, which would mean that I would actually that I would actually still lose because their their special ability makes them win ties, which is a bummer. Unless I wanted to do something else too, but that's probably not worth it. Ah da 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 da. da. No, I'm just going to enjoy the fact that I have a ton of cards in my hand and leave it at that, I think. Let's just let them have the round. 
Congratulations, sir. You're looking a little weak right now. How did that happen, sir? So I'm kind of hoping I can use the catapult this round, but then next round use another catapult because I have to use the medic to bring the catapult back. That's how it works, right? Uh, choose one card from your discard pile and play it instantly. No heroes or special cards. That's not a hero or special card, right? No. So yeah, I want to use the uh, medic to, to bring back the trebuchet next round. So I'm going to play the trebuchet this round to win this round. Let's get in there. Oh, that was an interesting one. Imperial Brigade Guard. The Imperial Brigade never surrenders. Never. Okay. So... I can do it. I have an anti... Yeah, I, I can go anti-ranged, so I kind of want to bait him out to playing more ranged cards if I can. That'd be certainly handy. Uh, let's go ahead... Let's see. I should avoid playing a ranged card of my own if I'm going to use that strategy this turn. So let's send in a melee character to establish a lead, I think is what I'm going to do. Here we go. I'm going to go all melee and siege and play the rain ability. Is my strategy for this time. Send in our next melee. I don't, what sucks is he could totally screw me by playing an anti-melee card that he may have in his hand. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm tempted to play anti-range now, but I should wait for him to hopefully play another one if I want to get lucky. Let's go... Send in our melee character. Let's see. Wait, what? I'm sorry, what? Spy, place on your opponent's battlefield, counts towards opponent's total, and draw two cards from your deck. Okay, that's an important thing I should have read. My, my mistake. I basically just gave him victory, but I drew two more cards, so fuck him. Uh, let's freeze melee then. He's passed, so now I just need to make, give myself the net gain. And I have a lot of strong stuff in my hand right now, which is good. So let's do, let's use our leader card to affect their ranged characters. That weakens him a bit. Then I'll play ice to weaken his front row. That'll reduce, it'll reduce his power by four, five, six, and reduce mine by three, giving me the lead, I think, right? Did that not give me the lead? Okay, it gave me the lead. Okay, so now I win. I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Here we go. Now it's one to one, and I think I have the hand advantage. Oh yeah, I have the hand advantage. Especially since I drew that extra card. I have six cards, he has three. I'm just gonna start playing things like crazy, basically. Uh, let's go throw in a melee dude. Huh, that spy card's interesting. I wish I had read its effect in advance, but I think it actually worked out in my favor because I got him to give up. He's immediately opening with Biting Frost. Okay. Let's see here. I can do anti-ranged. If he does anti-siege on top of that, then it'll be all... 1-1-1 one, one, one for everybody. At that point, I probably still win just for having more units on the board. Which is why I'm going to go ahead and play... I'm going to use the Medic to get my Catapult back. And then I'm going to use... Uh, let's go get the Catapult. And then I'm going to use the other guy to make the Catapult and the Medic both more powerful. And I should just completely flatten him, basically. I think I just learned this game to some extent. That's kind of neato. Alright. Let's make these guys more powerful. I'm just gonna play every card in my hand, basically. That's that's the level. That's the stage we're at, more or less. Torrential rain. There's his anti siege ability. Yep. Knew that was gonna happen more or less because of his ability. But what? oh, cool. The plus, the plus one still happens after the weather effect. That's interesting. Good to know. I'll go ahead and weaken his one unit. Now the entire board is effect. Suck it. Now I'm just gonna start playing cards until. Does he even have cards left to play? Yeah, he already gave up. I win just because I have all these cards. Suck it. Yay. I did a good. I did a good. All right. An interesting round. If you desire a rematch, let me know. New item received. Zoltan Chevet. Ooh. I think I just got earned myself a new card. If only I knew how to look at them. 
because I don't think I know how to look at my deck. Unless it's like in here. Yennefer's letter, let's read that. Dear friend, forgive me for not... No, let's let's wait for next episode for that. I'll read that, really, I'll read that at the beginning of next episode just because people might have skipped the rest of this episode because they got tired of the card game. So next time, we'll look into that. We'll look into my quest. We'll go outside and all sorts of exciting things that, that involve not playing card games all day. But I'm sure we'll revisit those at some point. Hope you guys weren't too bored. Just, I like to play every part of a game. And let, well, if it appeals to me. See you guys next time.